In this video, we will cover variable roles, including explanatory and outcome variables, and variable classification, including qualitative variables, nominal, ordinal, and binary, and quantitative variables, discrete, continuous, interval, and ratio. Any analytics project first begins with a question. What is the problem we are trying to solve? To address that question, we need to collect data. The next step in the process is to understand the data collected, and only then can we move to further steps of data cleaning, data analysis, and solving the problem. A key step in understanding the information collected is to identify all the variables in the data set. We need to know what variable types we have in order to make them amenable to further analysis. Variables have two possible roles. The first is explanatory. Explanatory variables are also called features or independent variables. These are variables that are used as inputs to explain the variation in the outcome variable. The second role a variable can take on is outcome. An outcome variable is also known as a target or dependent variable. These are variables that measure the output or impact that's being studied. Most studies have many independent variables and one dependent variable. For example, a person's weight could be a function of age, gender, and calories consumed. Fuel efficiency is a function of features such as car size, weight, and number of cylinders. Restaurant ratings are a function of food quality, ambiance, and service. Variables can be qualitative or quantitative. Qualitative data can be nominal, ordinal, or binary. Quantitative data can be discrete or continuous, with either an interval or ratio level of measurement. We'll start by discussing how to determine whether a variable is qualitative or quantitative. The best way to decide whether a variable is qualitative or quantitative is to use the subtraction test. If two experimental units, such as people, have different values for a particular measure, then you should subtract the two values and ask yourself about the meaning of the difference. For example, when hair color is coded as 1 equals blonde, 2 equals red, 3 equals brown, and 4 equals black, the difference between the variables has no meaning, so it fails the subtraction test, which means hair color is a categorical or qualitative variable. However, if the difference is meaningful, then it is a quantitative variable. For example, age in years. The differences between these numbers have a meaning, so the variable is quantitative. We will now discuss qualitative variables in detail. Categorical variables are those that have only a few possible values, thus assigning each value to a particular group or category. For example, oceans are a categorical variable. Nominal and ordinal variables are often called labels. A nominal variable has levels with arbitrary names, for example, car colors. Ordinal variables have a logical order, for example, exam grades. A dichotomous or binary variable is a categorical variable that has only two levels or categories, often the answer to a yes or no question. But a variable doesn't have to be a yes-no variable to be binary, it just has to have only two categories, such as gender. We will now discuss quantitative variables in detail. Quantitative variables are those for which the recorded numbers encode magnitude information based on a true quantitative scale. They can be discrete or continuous. A discrete variable has only whole number counts. A continuous variable can take on any value on the number scale. To determine whether a variable is discrete or continuous, use the midway test. If for every pair of values of a quantitative variable, the value midway between them is a meaningful value, then the variable is continuous. Otherwise, it's discrete. For example, age is continuous because the difference between ages 20 and 30 is meaningful. An example of a discrete variable is the number of children in a family. You can see here that 2.5 does not make sense. The interval level of measurement ranks data. It can be either discrete or continuous. With interval variables, precise differences between units of measure exist, but there's no meaningful zero. For example, take IQ scores. It makes sense to talk about someone having an IQ 50 points higher than another person, but an IQ of zero has no meaning. Ratio variables are interval variables, but with the added condition that zero of the measurement indicates that there is none of that variable. True ratios exist when the same variable is measured on two different members of the population. For example, consider the weight of an individual. It makes sense to say that a 150-pound adult weighs twice as much as a 75-pound child. However, it doesn't make sense to say that 70 degrees Fahrenheit is twice as hot as 35 degrees Fahrenheit, so temperature is not a ratio variable. This concludes our video on variables. In this video, we covered variable roles, including explanatory and outcome variables, and we also covered variable classification, including qualitative variables, nominal, ordinal, and binary, and quantitative variables, discrete, continuous, interval, and ratio. 